Okay, hello folks. Um, I'm going to uh, cover the bottom of the wing. It's um, nice and smooth, servos installed. And as you know, first thing is now it's heating up. First job is to get the bolster lock on the frame. For that, I'm going to use my trusty finger and I'm going to cover the bottom first. Knob that. And I'll start down here. I sure hope this baby flies. It's going to make a hell of a static model. Now I need to go. Oh, it's the top. I'll leave that for a minute. I'm just going to do the other side so as it gets nice and dry. There we go. Right, let that dry a second. Won't take long. Pop the lid back on there. Eighty four, eighty five, eighty seven, still going. How's it going then? How's everyone getting on? Hope you're building your models quicker than I am, but then I'm not doing this all the time, am I? I'm breaking off editing other videos, flying, working. Right, I'm up to temp. Let's start tacking. So a little can you see oh you can't see. You're down again. I'll start by a little tack on the end there, one there, and one there. Seems pretty flat, so put one at the far tip there, there, one there, one there, one. There. These are only just tiny little tacks, just to hold, just to hold it roughly. Well, not roughly, just to hold it in place. One on the corner. Can you see that? Yep. And just giving it the slightest amount of tension, just to make life easier. Just to make sure all the wrinkles are out. A couple more up there. Basically, you're, you're just tacking around the outside edge. But if you just tacked right down one edge, it's going to be all wrong. You've got to put a little tack, sort of one each end, and then there, 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 there. And just keep working in. Don't put any on that. Look. And just keep working it around till eventually the whole circumference is tacked. Okay, let's work a little bit more on this aileron trailing edge, I think. Just getting sidetracked back onto the leading edge. And okay, now I've got to nick it in there. Which way? If I go straight down. Or should I go at an angle? And while I've got them there found, let's do this corner. Uh, if I do it like that, I'll go around. Now I should be able to take this up around. Trailing edge. 
I'll seek out again before I cover the ailerons because obviously the hinges are still in the aileron it goes there be trimming in a minute let's do the wing tip a little bit around the edge Hello cat, you want some dinner I suppose, cat wants some dinner, cat's going out the door, there she goes, Let's see if I can just take this around the tip slightly better, slightly more, should go around alright, there's a bolsa lock on it, Okay, tidy up the lead ledge. What is it with cats? What is it with cats and uh, model building? It seems to me that in a lot of the build videos, there's a cat laying on the table. Perhaps they just like the sound of the human voice, assuming uh, other people talk to themselves. That wing's feeling quite heavy, you know. It's got to weigh, well, I'll weigh it when it's done. It is what it is. No getting away from that. So that is one wing half done. Let's pop the other side on. Okay. And I'll angle you down again. I'm going to it's okay. So Put a little nick in the film about there. tune in my head which you guys might have seen on my Santa video and if you haven't check it out it's only two minutes long it's two minutes of pure gold
the peripherals all just tacked around I'll trim it and once it's trimmed I can uh, have another go at making it really tidy okay so I've put I've got it all cut got the hinges re-slotted so now I'm just going to run some balsa lock around the outside edge of the wing and I'll cut the um, cut the top panels and as you cut there you can just slot on through She usually doesn't, so I doubt she's going to this time. Maybe I can just use a bit of patience and perseverance. I'll go along the leading edge and uh, continue with the trimming process, if you can hear me above this wrinkling noise. Stage four of four. Actually, I suppose it's four of five, five being the final shrinking process. <clears throat> How would you like a change of camera angle? Ugh. How about if we put it over here? Could have built a house while I was building this. At the same time. Probably a five bedroom detached house with jacuzzi and triple garage. If I can put a, a tissue on there, it might make it worse. It'll probably stick the glue to the tissue and then I'll end up with tissue on the structure. Here we go. Yep. Maybe I can damp it. Maybe I can actually, maybe that's the technique. Maybe I'm learning. Pull it down into the, like that. It's the opposite to a wind tip, you're, you're pulling it down. It might work. I'll look at the wing tip then. Time to do some serious wing tipping. Well, that doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Proof of the pudding will be in the heating. <laughs> if you like that, just made that up. Proof of the pudding will be in the heating.
I know it's not to the uh, it's not to the same standard that some of you guys, or most of you guys, build to. To be honest. Gosh, look at this, it's going up to 216 C, 220, 220. I'm not going to put it up that high, I think I'll stick it at 190. Right, right, here we go. Wish me luck, guys. Good luck, Cliff. Thank you. Here we go. A bit on the top, and a bit on the bottom. A bit on the top, a bit on the bottom. A little pop. And the top. Bottom. Stop here a minute because I want to see how it's looking. That's looking pretty good walk wise. So it's just starting to tension out now. Obviously, what I find, for those that don't know, when you heat up a wing like this, the air inside gets really warm and suddenly the air inside the envelope is so hot it shrinks it from the inside out. Anyway, let's carry on. Keep the iron moving. Otherwise you're likely to get a localised hot spot which suddenly melts. out a bit it's almost acceptable um, but it occurred to me while I'm doing this to um, they say to if you reheat the glued edges you can um, unpeel it to stick it down again but if I'm using the heat gun on it then it's going to unstick the edges as the tension goes on it's going to pull away so I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put the. I've just put the iron back on, and I'm gonna. I'm gonna try heating it with the iron, which will actually keep it away from the uh, glued edges. Once I've restuck them down, or that one anyway. Because if the edges aren't stuck down, then uh, it's just gonna shrink away. A bit rough around the bottom of that. And I'll continue with this side. We'll come back to that in a minute. Here we go.
have a look for warts. There's a slight twist there. Plenty of movement. I reckon if I heat up the bottom, lay it on my uh, balsa packers with some weight, and then heat the top, it should lay flat. Bit there, bit there. We've got, this is just stuff from the kit, but it looks about the right. Just heat up the bottom, like I said, turn it over. Right, got to stop there, so we'll see what it's like in a little bit. Signing off. Okay guys, I'm covering the ailerons. I've already put on some um, balsa lock, which is nearly dry. So the iron's heating up. And the, the film is ready. So without further ado, let's crack on. I think I might use that straight edge there. Just go in for the all over stick on this one because it's solid sheet and it's pretty small so two in a piece of one it's always a good idea isn't it save save material See, so I've got all the wrinkles on on this bit, which I'm going to cut off completely. So it's going to leave me a nice smooth, nice smooth uh, corner. Okie dokie. I've got um, got both bottom halves covered there. I've just got to slot the hinge holes, and then uh, they can carry on. I've said something similar before. It feels like I've actually got some guys here I'm chatting to, as opposed to just building a model on my own. There. Good job there. Stand it quite. Yeah. That's pretty good. So there they are. There's that one there. Uh, it's quite nice. Ready for hinging and. Connecting up the hinges are uh, these small bits of plastic. So I'll do them all like that. Then I can push them into the wing, and then I can put some CA in, and that's the Adon's hinged. Be careful with gaps, you want it as tight as you can get without it. Um, getting in the way of the movement. I think I can go in a little bit more. Or the other way of doing it is just to push it in all the way and then just work it and it will come out as far as it needs to. I might use the blade for this. Washer on there with um, a little bit of epoxy resin. Just put a pin through there. Okay, darling. 
We've got a bit of up on that Elon, a bit of up on that Elon, which is intentional because it gives me a nice bit of washout. So I'll test that in a minute. I'll connect that up and we'll see how they work. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in a minute. Right then, my ansoms. I'm going to uh, connect up the receiver. And we'll see how the Elons actually work. So I've deliberately bent the uh, Elons up. So I've, I've got washout in the top wings. They work pretty well. Yeah, happy with that. So uh, we'll stop there. And if I say like and subscribe for more exciting episodes of the Newport, Grillo's Newport conversion build. And uh, it's very pretty, that, isn't it? Um, we'll be. I'm going to weigh it. Not yet. I'll wait later. Okay, guys. Take care.